Hello my friends and welcome to the complete Kotlin developer course. We have learned in the previous video how to create constants inside Kotlin. But often you want to change the data behind in name. So for example, if you were keeping track of your bank account balance with deposits and withdrawals, you might use a variable rather than a constant. If your program's data never changed, then it would be a rather boring program. But as you have seen, it's not possible to change the data behind a constant. When you know you will need to change some data, you should use a variable, not val. So variable, not, a, not use it when you change data changes, not don't use val. Just you create var. So these are the variables. And throughout the course, I will comment everything in order to ensure that you understand everything by comments. And you check the source code by downloading it from the description in the resources folder. And uh, this documentation, all of this documentation can found uh, at master coding, master coding app on Play Store. So don't miss to download it to get all documents okay now variable let me remove this and put it outside and the variable we have var we start by var it is indicating a value so we put the variable name or the variable number that I am going to put the type of it equal to 99. Okay, I have created a variable called variable name number. I put it of type integer and specify the value it is equal to 99. Only the first part of the, st the statement is different. You declare constants using val, whereas that you declare variables using var. Once you have declared a variable, you are free to change it to whatever you wish, as long as the type remains the same. So for example, to change the variable declared above, you could do this variable name variable sorry variable number equal to 100 i can change it and can do it exactly but i can't use variable number number equal to hello you see guys there is an error let's see Hover your mouse to see the, the error. Type mismatch required int found a string. So it's telling us that you, uh, it should be an integer of type integer. So I can change it again to 55. This is the, uh, yeah, the meaning of using variables. And this is the power of using uh, the variables. Now. Uh, let me uh, show you one trick. Uh, always try to choose meaningful names for your variables and constant to ensure that you memorize them when creating a bi big uh, softwares. Good names can act as documentation and make your code easy to read. A good name specifically uh, describes the role of variable or constant. Here are some examples of good names. Okay, so I can create person age, person age value. It will indicate for every person, for every coder, that this variable will, uh, will give us a person age. It's very simple. Or you can create a number of students. This will indicate for us the number of student as a variable, okay? Or uh, the mark 
mark uh, our grades grades for student okay these are the naming the good naming of uh, and meaningful names or you can create v1 but v1 it may refers for the age of uh, of the person but how you will uh, remember that i advise you to put the age of person or person start always with small letter person age and you put the other word with the capital letter this is the pascal writings okay this is very good example about creating the variables you can create uh, also variable of type string of type um, type string i will call uh, name name person of type string equal to uh, John you see guys the first part is just is uh, as the constant is uh, changed from var to val and the second part is the same as before okay so I can also create value of constant j you see j it will not indicate anything for me or for any uh, for any coder later on it's just uh, saying hello and it is constant while in the variable form we just defer it by var and I also i can change the name of person from va from uh, var variable from john to anything i need to uh, change it later on also i can create a variable of type uh, float um, boiling point boiling point of type float equal to 3.45 and don't miss the f okay it's the same as constant but it differ in va from var from val to var okay thank you guys see you in next videos